All right. Hello, you beautiful bastards. Welcome to episode two, Safa the Children of Telltale's the final season of The Walking Dead, you know, whatever. Let's just get into it, okay? No time to waste. Previously on The Walking Dead, AJ and I had been searching for a long time for some place we could call home. Just when we thought we'd found a huge stash of food, it turned out to be a trap. That could have been the end. But I woke up and found I'd been saved by a guy named Marlin. The leader of a community living inside an old boarding school. It felt like a chance at having a home, a real one. We had to go back to the train station to see if any food survived the explosion. But someone else had the same idea. I didn't want to risk it. So I let him take some of the food and leave. I found Marlin and Brody in the basement that night, arguing about the man we'd seen. And I learned why Brody was so afraid. The man was part of a group of raiders they'd run into a year ago. Marlin traded Tennessee's older sisters to the raiders to keep himself safe. He attacked Brody and locked me in the basement with her. When she turned, I had to stop her. Marlin stole AJ's gun and tried to convince them I had murdered Brody. Lewis backed me up. With everyone against him, the fight went out of Marlin. I told him he could stay, but he couldn't be our leader. But then... Marlin was dead. And AJ pulled the trigger. He remembered what I'd taught him. To always aim for the head. Well... Let's see what uh, fresh hell awaits us in this episode. And all my horrible choices come back to haunt me. Probably, maybe, hopefully not. Mm, yes, yeah, very nice. Those flowers are still pretty. Haven't rotted away just yet. Even though I found them on a freaking stone bench or whatever. I made you some coffee. It was in the kitchen. Tin said I can have some. I didn't steal it. Coffee? <sighs> I'm surprised you remember how to make it. We haven't had coffee in a long time. You put it in hot water. You're right. Thanks. Last night, with Marlin, I heard Lewis and, and what he called me. Am I a murderer? Oh, God. That's a hard question to no. say. The answer. Shit! God damn it. You get medicine from the nurse's office. He's dead. The kid blew his brains out. You shot him. He's dead. You're a murderer. You promised Marlin. You said you'd help him fix things. What the fuck did you teach this kid? Lewis called me a murderer. But, but we're supposed to kill bad stuff. Monsters. Did I do it bad? I thought Marlin was bad. He killed Brody. He, he kept telling lies. Lewis was right. Sometimes people do bad things, like Marlin did. But when you shot him, he wasn't a threat to us anymore. If you kill someone when they're no longer threatening you, that's murder. 
What are we gonna do? Oh God, change for the better or for worse. Back off, all of you. It was under control. I talked Marlin down, then he murdered my fucking friend. Take AJ, go inside. Come on, let's go. Oh, just let them go back to the dorms? What happens the next time one of us does something this kid doesn't like? Should we expect a bullet too? That's not what happened. It's exactly what happened. It was over. To little Mr. Trigger Happy decided otherwise. Marlin started this. He killed Brody and almost got me too. AJ did what he had to do. What he had to? He didn't have to shoot Marlin in the fucking skull. Just it was over. Get it, Lewis. Just back off, okay? Back off? Seriously? Let's go. Clem? Clem? If I'm a murderer, am I gonna die too? What? No. Well, I think murderers are like monsters, and I know what happens to monsters. Nothing good. Nothing good at all. AJ, you're not a monster. They think I am. I wish they didn't. We're going to fix this. You and me. I'm going to help you atone. Atone? It means make up for what you did wrong. We'll make it all right with the others. <laughs> for God's sake, someone help me with this! <laughs> Save you from that car wreck, and you fucking murdered him? Get back, Mitch. Get back. Or what? You're gonna let him kill me too? Then who's next? A sim? Willie? Haven't enough people died tonight? Brody, Marlin, we can't keep killing each other. How the fuck are you saying that to me after what he did? Screw both of you. Wow. This is going swimmingly. What is it? You've killed a lot of people. You murdered your friend Lee, didn't you? What? Uh, you said he was handcuffed. He wasn't a threat. So... That means you murdered him. I killed him because I loved him. I didn't want him to suffer. How? He'd be dead. He would have turned. I didn't want that for him. He deserved better. I love you, Clem. <laughs> I love you back. Violet said to come get you for the funeral. Really? We used to have them more. Then we stopped. It seems right, though. I brought you something. For me? I figured you'd be afraid, with everyone all upset. But you were brave last night. Like a firefighter. No. Firefighters are good. I'm a murderer. No, you're not. You gotta have a trial first. They decide that stuff in a courtroom. That's how it works. Er, worked before. Back then, there were all kinds of rules about who was innocent, who was guilty. It was complicated. Okay, find us the courthouse. What's that? That's where the trials happen. You appear before a judge. There are no more judges. I guess you're right. You sure you don't want your firefighter? You should keep him, because you're good like him. But maybe we could play with him later? Together? Sure. After the funeral. They buried them already. The vials started soon. See you out there. I had to look at freaking Brody and her bastion face. <sighs> this is going to be hard. 
everyone's going to be upset. We need to show them we care, okay? Okay. Oh, wow. <sighs> Almost dead. Nope. They'll live if we water them. No, they still die. Once you bring them inside, they only get a few days. Oh. Why did I bring them inside, huh? <laughs> AJ, where are you? Time to go. Soon. Can I put on my hat? No, okay. <laughs> Still cool. Is it? Well, I'm just surrounding myself with death, right? They look good together. Do you think his is better? No, uh. I like them both. These won't die. Is that everything? Are we good now? Okay. Okay. Now let's get eaten out today. That oh, I'm a murderer. I trained him wrong. That's what I meant. Didn't even didn't clean up the blood, man. What the hell? Well, you should freaking pour some water on it. Oh, we're great at action. Okay. Attend the funeral. Why was that so ominous? Run. Oh. Reclose that, I see. Not even at half mast? Come on. I did that. Come on. Anything else? I think we're good. Oh, that's great. Very secure. Oh, God. They're here. So what? They knew Brody, didn't they? Yeah, but Marlin... Just leave them alone. <sighs> Shit. Clem? What? Why do people have funerals? Tin said they used to have them more if they died. Mm. But I don't get mm -hmm. it. Well, to remember Shit. people we loved. They loved Marlin. Yeah, they did. So I made them all sad. Like if someone took you away. Does everyone get a funeral? People do. Some animals, too. Even monsters? <laughs> Even monsters. Oh, uh, okay. Maybe Ken. I should put... He wasn't Ready? a monster, but... He just wasn't fit to be leader. No. Brody. You always said you wanted to go to the beach. So, I drew it for you. Marlin was... I can't. Not for Marlin. 
With what he did to the twins and Brody, I... You didn't even like Brody! I'm always mean to her. I can't. Someone else do it. Bitch. Dude, okay. don't. Seriously, okay. Lewis. He was your best friend. He wasn't perfect, but he deserved better than to get gunned down by that kid. AJ killed him like it was nothing. We all saw it, and no one stopped him. You're right, Mitch. Marlon didn't deserve what AJ did to him. I know what I did. I'm sorry. I know I'm a murderer, but I'm gonna, uh, uh... Atone. Yeah, atone it. Fuck, I can't listen to this. What I did was bad, and I'm gonna make it up to you. I promise. You don't have to make up shit. Marlin was a fucking murderer and a liar, and if we'd all asked more questions about Minnie and Soapy disappearing last year, none of this would have happened. She's got a point. Shut up! It wasn't Marlin's fault. Then whose fault was it? Violet's right. You all share responsibility for what happened to Sophie and Minnie. And to Brody. And what about Marlin? Okay. Who's responsible for that? Me. See what I mean? How can any of us trust these fucking people? What are you saying? I'm saying they gotta fucking go. Take a vote. Majority decides. They stay or they leave. Today. That does seem fair. Are you serious? It's bullshit. You're bullshit. Please, don't do this. I know you're angry, but You we... don't know shit! If you did, you would've stopped AJ. Like you stopped Marlin from killing Brody? Fucking hypocrite! A vote's the only way to settle this, or we'll be arguing forever. Fine. I guess we're fucking voting. Lewis needs to vote. Could you go get him? And try to talk to him. Well, do we on, need to here, get his vote? I imagine I I can guess what his vote is Did probably you guys going to be. The dorm? I'll come get you. I did some contradictory things there, but you know, whatever. Please don't kick us out. Come on, let's go. AJ, stop. You'll break your toe or something. Come here, sit down. No. It didn't work. I did what you said, and they didn't even care. I know that I was bad, but, but they don't let me fix it. AJ, breathe. Remember what we do when we're mad? Come on. I don't want to be loud, do you? What 
do we do when we're mad? We stop and think and, um... I'm still really, really mad. I know that I'm not supposed to get mad or sad because then I do dumb things. And you have every reason to be upset. We'll deal with it together, okay? Okay. We stop, we think, and we breathe. Breathe. Breathe, yes. Breathe. Feel better? You're still mad, huh? And, uh... I think I'm sad, too. I did what you told me to. I know. You're a good listener. I wanted to make them all feel better. It didn't work. Why'd you tell me to do that if it didn't work? We don't know that it didn't work. They might have voted for us to stay. I don't know. It they just takes time. It's mad. still fresh wounds. Violet was on our side. Maybe she'll persuade the others. I mean, I doubt it, but... Maybe. I don't want to go. I know you don't. I like knowing where we are all the time. The bed, the food. I like the other kids. Not all of them, but... Tin and Lewis and Violet. Lewis? Really? We took the vote. You have to leave. Don't we get to vote? I vote that we stay. Bye. That's not how it works. Maybe it should be. You don't have to like it. Good, because I don't. Fine. I get it. We'll learn to live with your decision somehow. Seriously? That's it? You know this is fucking wrong, and you're not going to fight it at all? What's the point? You've already decided. Yes, we have. So Stupid. You said you'd go along with it, if we voted fairly. It's bullshit. And you'd know it if you weren't so used to burying your head in the sand. Oh, I'm burying my head in the sand? Hate Marlin all you want, but you can't tell me AJ is in dangerous too. <sighs> we'll wait for you to pack up, then Lewis and I will escort you out past the safe zone. I'll make sure you get to the road safely. It's not a lot, but at least you won't die on the way. We could have happily dumped you outside the gates. Thanks for making sure that we... No, don't thank them! It's, it's their fault we gotta leave. They're gonna get rid of us. Get him under control. AJ, breathe. Where's Tim? I gotta say goodbye. He was really upset about the vote, and he's not talking to anybody. It's best to leave him alone when he's like this, but for the record, he wanted you to stay. Wait. Does AJ still have that gun? Hand it over. Is this necessary? Hell yes, it's necessary. I'm not walking out into the woods with him holding that thing. We already know he knows how to use it. Give it to him. Here, you can have it. Frank. Fuck. There. Happy? Can we go? <laughs>
Eh, well, maybe I shouldn't have done that, but... I'm conflicted a lot. Get another car? Probably not. We got lucky before. So we're walking. My shoes are gonna break. Well, we'll have to hope they hold out. My feet are gonna bleed again. We'll tear up a shirt and tie them up if we have to. It's not so bad. I mean, you've done this before. Probably pretty good at it by now. Almost like going home for you guys. You've lived inside walls your whole life. You have no fucking idea what it's like out there. We're here. The road's that way. Anything you want to say before we go? I've said plenty. Thanks for trying to keep us. You're welcome. I wish you could stay. I didn't want this. Come on, let's just go. Give us a minute, would you? Yeah, so do I. I wish we hadn't fucked it up. You didn't. Arlen did. Even dead, he's still ruining shit. Jesus, Violet. Give him some fucking peace. Just stay safe. Both of you. Must be stupid. I can't leave you out here unarmed. Thanks. I think Lois is as conflicted as I am. Let's get going. The sun will set soon. How do you know? I don't know. I can just feel it. How? So it's kind of dark out. It settles on my skin. It happens right before a storm too. Oh, storm. I feel that. You haven't been on the road as long as me. Clem. Hmm. Will we be okay? I thought we were done running from all the bad people. And the monsters. Yeah, of course we'll be okay. We're used to this. I hate it out here. I wish we could go back. Yeah, so do I. Hi. Oh, okay. Couple of you on the road. How long do you think you can hide? Oh, shit. That's oh, the God. man from the train station, yes. The one Brody was scared of. Yeah. Stay here. Hey, okay. Aren't you? Just walk away and we'll let you go. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, we got why? I wouldn't, boy. Any closer, your friend might get her head blown off. Abel. Good to see you again, Squirt. Don't. I've seen these ones before. These Fighters. ones? Both of them. You'll like them. We're looking for a kid. Runs a community near here. Marlon. <sighs> He's dead. Well, shit. This can still work. How about it? You want to take us back to your school? Help us talk to your friends? It's not like you have many other options. <sighs> Come on, kid. We don't want to be out here all day. <sighs> If I go back, they'll kill me. And him. And probably both of you. She's lying. Has to be. Ah! Don't! Ah! Let him go! Please! Sure. If you do like we ask. Otherwise, I'm happy to crack his head open. You ever seen old fruit explode after you throw it at something? That's just how it'll look. Uh, uh, Clementine! No, not this again. Clementine, it's you? I... My name is Lily. What are the odds? You probably don't remember me. It's been a while. Lily? I thought you died. I... came close. What the hell? Not now. Always with the frickin' hand. What is this? I said, not now. Hmm. <sighs> Lee isn't with you. So he's dead then. I'll never forget him leaving me on the side of the road to die. I don't blame him. I was clearly a threat to the group after I shot that girl. Carly. Lee should have left you behind, too. Might have lived longer if he did. The same thing will happen to you if you repeat his mistakes. Your little boy there, mm. you'll die protecting him. You may be able to keep this up a while longer. But eventually he'll slow you down. A walker you didn't spot. A bullet you couldn't dodge. A desperate cry for help that brings the herd. It happened to Lee, and it'll happen to you. I don't think so. AJ knows how to handle himself. He's got spirit, I'll give you that. But you and I know that won't be enough. Fuck, we don't have time for all this. We've got history. Great. You know her, I know her. Point is, we've got a job to do. We can help you raise that boy, Clementine. But we need you to do something for us. What? Help you kidnap a couple more kids? We don't need a couple. We need all of you. We'll take you back to the Delta to join our people. We have walls, we have working solar panels, and we grow our own food. All we need from you is to go back to your friends and convince them to come peacefully. No one will be harmed. I'm not Marlin. Here's what I'll do. I'll take the little squirt here right now. Mm. Mm. That way, I'm sure you'll play nice. Be smart about this, Clementine. It's an us or them kind of world, Clem. If you want to save your little one, you won't pick them. Shoot! Was that the right choice? Probably not. But I never make the right choices. 
Luckily, she's a pistol or shot. Looks like all those ears didn't help her. Ooh. I'm not sure. Did I miss that or not? I, maybe I did. I'd rather not kiss you. You have teeth. Oh God, that, that's pretty catastrophic. Lay of the land and then, nope. Okay. There's a lot more. Not sure if I can take them out. Excuse me. You're moving a lot faster. Damn branches getting there. I just want to see if I can take them all out. For posterity's sake. Okay, now you can have me. No. Stop. Too loud.
follow. Friggin' whisperer. Gotta ask, does that mask smell? Or like, is it because you had freaking tan it out in the sun for a couple of days? You know, reduce the smell. have to up the ante. In season two it was freaking the stitching of the arm. Now it's removing shrapnel from a freaking a buckshot round. Trying not to be loud. It's okay, AJ. Just breathe. Put your hands there. Stop the bleeding. It's okay, AJ. He's just gonna patch you up. Oh, with some tape. Well, that's gonna hit. It's enough. Keep it nice for now. Whoa, whoa. Easy, easy. Where's our stuff? My gun. We lost it, buddy. Lewis got shot. I saw. They saved us. Yeah, they did. I didn't mean to endanger you. The walkers were sent to help you. You sent the walkers? Was part of a group. Call themselves Whisperers. They've learned to live in herds, among walkers. Move among them. Sometimes guide them. Why are you alone, if you were part of a group? They attacked a community. Saw the carnage. A community? Didn't want to be part of it. Does it hurt? Probably. Okay. Eat. Both of you. Thank you. Do you have a name? Been a while. Since. I've said it. James. Why did you help us, James? The people who attacked you. What do you know about them? I know they steal kids. They took two last year. A common practice for them. They're at war up north. 
their entire community against another. It's why they take people, to make them fight, train them, use them. You would join their war. That's horrible. Yes. That's why I helped you. Thank you. Clem? Wait. Throw it. Distract him. Works just as well, and nobody gets hurt. Not us. Not him. Okay, fine. Thank you. Safe. It was difficult to send the herd in to save you. And then I killed I them all. I didn't want them to die. So, James, do you just hang around in the woods, saving random people? After I left my group, I wandered. First time alone, ever. Saw war everywhere. First against walkers, then against each other. Hoped it would be better here. Mm. Where are you from? Here? Or somewhere far away? Georgia. Long way from home. It feels like forever ago. And where are we right now? It was. If it's cold, then it's probably north, obviously. So where are you Maybe. from? Washington. Oh, Washington. The city or the state? The city. Dad oh. ran a food truck. I helped. You've got a fever. His wound will need proper cleaning and medicine, if you're lucky enough to have any. The school has medicine, but I don't think they'll share it. That's why those people attacked you, isn't it? To get to that school. They'll destroy whatever they find. Bring more guns, more fighters. Take everyone inside. They won't be able to fight them off. You need medicine. You have to go back, or you'll lose him. I have to go back and warn them. It's the right thing to do. Noble of you, despite their treatment. I'll help you get back, past the walkers. A few more hours and we'll go. That's a few hours for you to sleep. Mm. <sighs> I'll stay awake. You don't have to. Okay, well now you said that, I'll just go. Sleep. I'll keep watch. I mean, he hasn't given me a reason not to trust him. <sighs> okay, I will. What about you? Don't need it. Not tonight. Rest well. Good night. Good night. <laughs> 